County Packers Auction Center. Time for a look at the sports action. The man on the sports spot is R.J. Hunt. Yeah, in the sports seat. Let's go for it. Seems as though the Philadelphia Phillies have weathered the storm. Capable and qualified, the Phillies were victorious over Pittsburgh 5-4 in 11 innings yesterday, rebounding from their one-win, six-loss record on the West Coast. The Phillies have won four of six games since returning to the East. Philadelphia pitcher Steve Carlton is now tied with Nolan Ryan of the Houston Astros for the all-time strikeout lead. Philadelphia plays at St. Louis tonight. Game time is 8.30. Elsewhere in baseball, there was one game this afternoon, a noontime bout under the scorching sun in Cincinnati. It must have been too hot for the Reds. Los Angeles beat them 5-1. to one. Tonight in the National League, Chicago at New York, a big night for baseball. Montreal at Pittsburgh, San Diego at Houston. In the American League, New York at Cleveland, Baltimore at Milwaukee, California at Chicago, Kansas City at Minnesota, and Seattle at Texas. Baseball, minor league style, the Reading Phils, too bad, lost to Albany yesterday afternoon at Municipal Stadium to a packed crowd. The score was 14 to 6. The annual Frederick W. Nicholas member guest golf tourney took place at the Berkshire Country Club over the weekend. The winners, Dr. Lawrence Capazello, teamed with Keith Lee in solid shooting, one under and three under par, respectively. Retiring Wilson High football coach John Gursky was roasted at Stokesay Castle Sunday afternoon as his fans and followers paid tribute to Gursky in his career, which lasted 25 years, 19 of them at Wilson, where he won seven league championships and never had a season where his teams lost. Nearly 500 friends, followers, and fans were there at the banquet to celebrate. The Philadelphia Stars made USFL history. They are the first team in the newly formed league to qualify for the playoffs. They beat New Jersey Generals yesterday 23-9. And the LPGA golf winners from Sunday, it was Patty Sheehan in Mason, Ohio for the LPGA tournament and Seve Ballesteros at the Westchester Golf Classic in Harrison, New York. That's it for sports this time around. Jeffrey D. Miller will be right back. TV 51, WTVE, Reading.